and welcome to another episode of my life experiences to all first time viewers out there and to all if you are a second time viewer or a frequent viewer to this channel welcome back thank you so much guys uh, this is a place where i share with you some of the experiences that i've gathered in life and the lessons i've learned from them hoping that someone may listen be inspired and learn from this so today guys i just want to share with you on a topic of reconnection reconnecting with people and also reconnecting with the past so this has just been inspired by the my most recent trip that i made to the village so just a bit of a background i am of ngoni tribe from mzimba the district of mzimba here in malawi um my ancestors originally came from south africa and uh, during the tribal wars back there in the 1800s the tribal wars that were led by chaka zulu the, the famous uh, Ngoni chief my ancestors escaped and some of them resettled here in Malawi in this northern district of, of, of Mzimba in the northern part of Malawi so that's where I came from and my mother also stays there and we made a decision with my family that let's go to the village and visit with my my mom because she's quite advanced in age and we thought that um her time here on earth is in, is inevitably short so we, we thought that it was so eminent for us just to visit her and and talk to her chat with her uh, as an as an older person yeah so for me it was quite a very good experience guys being at the village uh you know i've not always been a town girl uh, i've got a, a whole history of me from the village if you can check out guys the very second episode that i recorded on this channel the second transition from being a village girl to a town girl you look at the, you listen to the whole experience that i had when i was a child growing up in the village so it brings to me fond memories when i think of those times reliving my past uh, and stepping on where i had stepped before in my past the distances where that i was driving i was traveling going to school it just brings immense satisfaction to me when i'm counting my blessings that thus far the lord has brought me from that what i was in the in the village during that time when i was six years old to what i am now the family that the god god has given me all the children so it brings immense satisfaction it brings immense peace some trans tranquility and it's and uh, also serenity fills my my heart when i'm thinking about that so it was such a good experience going there and also just escaping from the urban setting because you know the chaos that comes with the urban setting there are so many demands on life and just going out to refresh your mind in the rural rural areas sometimes it's good and we also sat down with my husband and we said that okay guys uh, let's go together to visit to visit a go -go in the village the granny uh, because you know my children right now are on holiday so they're spending so much time on the social media electronic gadgets and even on television so we said okay this is not good for them because it's idle time and it may cause sometimes negative thoughts in the mind which may sometimes lead to depression so he said let's just escape all of us from here and go to the village so it was a very good experience there at the village and um, one thing that uh, stuck with me is when my 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 my, my youngest child the four year old was asking uh, the granny my mom that uh, gogo why don't you have giza here why gogo you don't have television here why don't you have running water from the taps right here because we get our water from the boho so it was so to him it was so confusing why are these people li li living this kind of life so it is so good and so beneficial for the children to learn the, the basic life that we, we, we are we are raised in and where we are coming from yes guys and uh, also for the granny, it was so amazing to see how she was labeling to explain to, to, to him all those questions, to give her responses of why there's such a, a dichotomy and a difference between the life at the village and the life in the urban setting. She was trying to explain and I was just listening and, and laughing um, at how she was labeling. So it was so good because the children had to learn from, from experiences um from experiencing themselves what kind of a humble background that i've come from 
to be at the place where I'm at. So that kind of experiences just makes the kids to appreciate life more, to appreciate what they have more, to appreciate the kind of life that we are giving them more. Yes, guys, uh, it was so good for, for me uh, and my, my entire family, the, all the experiences that we have as we are interacting with all the relatives and uh, all the friends there at the village. Yes, guys, but essentially today I just want to encourage someone. I know that there are other people who are so afraid to go to the village because of their own personal reasons. Maybe because you are saying that, especially in this part of Africa, there could be reports of witchcraft, reports of jealousies, reports, so many uh, negative reports uh, connecting with the village. So if somebody is there, I just want to talk to someone uh, today that don't be afraid to go to the village take this opportunity to, to visit the village as um as a parent don't deny your children that opportunity to learn the kind of life where you're coming from the humble background where you're coming from it will be a, such a blessing for them to learn it because they will be able to appreciate life more so if you are saying that i'm afraid maybe they are witches they are all these wizards at our village but as a christian i just want to encourage somebody that it's time for you to preach to your kids through actions preach to your kids why you are a christian that as a christian you serve almighty god and you cannot be frightened to go to the village so preach it through your actions go there and face it at the village because the God that we serve is an omnipresent God, an omniscient God, and an omnipotent God. He's all-powerful and ever-present. So, just go there. Don't deny these children this um, blessing that they may face when they go to the village and reconnect all those experiences. So I just want to encourage somebody, a parent who is afraid to take their children to the village, that take this opportunity, don't be afraid, go and face it. You know, this is a very good time for you because for me also, when I was coming back from the, from the village, my daughter was asking me that, mom, what is your favorite verse in the Bible? Then I told her that my favorite verse is in, coming from the book of Romans, uh, chapter 8, starting from verse 28 to 39, where it says that if God be for us, who can be against us? Actually, we are more than conquerors. What can separate us from the love of Christ? Nobody, nothing, nothing at all, nobody or nothing can separate us from the love of God. So wherever we are, maybe we are at the village where we are in town, God is ever present and is omnipotent or powerful, he's there to fight our battles. So don't be afraid, don't deny your children this opportunity to take them to the village and learn. So one more thing, guys, that I learned at the village. In the house that we slept in, we didn't know that there were birds. And at night, when we were sleeping, we switched off the, 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 the torch that we had. And instantly, we started hearing the zoom sound, zoom sound. Birds were just flying around the room from one corner to the other, and the children were so frightened. So we had to sleep with the torch on for the whole night because there are no electricity. So we switched on the torch. And the second night, during the when we were sleeping, I switched on the torch again. And by in the mi middle of the night, the, the batteries had drained and we were back in darkness and the birds started flying again from one corner to the other, boom, boom. Then the kids were so frightened. Then I woke up again, I, I lit a candle and I just left it at the corner of the house just because candles are so dangerous. To sleeping with the candles, sometimes it may kindle a fire. So I just left it there on itself so that it doesn't kindle uh, a fire and we slept with a candle all, all the way through uh, the morning hours around 5 a.m. That's when it, the, the candle just went out itself. Yeah, so it was such a good experience really, guys, and the kids had to learn that, oh, sometimes people can sleep together with birds as we did. And then later on, my husband was discussing with the kids about vampire birds, about fruit-eating birds. So I don't know the kind of birds that we slept with. Uh, during that night, but all we know, I know is that it was a fruitful journey. My kids learned a lot. I counted my blessings. My husband also was, was happy to learn from the humble backgrounds that I'm coming from. So guys, just go there in the village, reconnect with your people, and don't be afraid 
to, 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 to visit the people, to visit the people in the village. It brings immense satisfaction uh, to one's life. Just uh, escaping that urban setting, escaping all those electronics, escaping all that chaos from the urban area and going to a village. I hope that somebody has been encouraged now to reconnect with your people and to reconnect with your past. Thank you so much, guys for being um, with me or all through. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel and also to press the like button. Thank you so much, guys. I've got some photographs that I took during this trip. You can check in my Facebook, Wes Sosola, or you can check in my Instagram account, Wes Sosola as well. For those um, who are on WhatsApp with me, you can check on my WhatsApp DB, uh, the profile updates on the, the pictures that I took in the village. Thank you so much. Stay blessed.